Hey, basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Alice Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about some of my five hacks that I teach my players on how they can jump higher so that they can dunk on the rim. Now I'm just going to get down to it really quickly. Number one, if you are already able to touch the, the rim and maybe get maybe one or two joints of your fingers past the rim, one of the things and one of the most biggest things that you can do to give you the most vertical as fast as possible is if you purchase yourself a very simple dollar store tennis ball that's all you need and every other day get to a basketball court or a basketball net it could be a 10 foot rim that is uh, in your driveway especially now with this coronavirus thing virus thing going on what you're gonna, what you need to do is just go up and go for 10 dunks with a tennis ball and because it's such a uh, tennis balls are so small that even if you only have one or two joints past the finger to get up to that rim, you're going to be able to dunk that tennis ball. And then if you do that 10 times, if you take a quick 30 second or 60 second break, do it 10 more times, essentially do three sets of 10, within a month, you're gonna be probably able to get your wrist above that rim, which means that you should be able to dunk at least a size uh, five or a size six basketball. And then another month pass there, once you start getting to that, uh, the ability to dunk a, a smaller basketball, you'll, you're gonna be able to dunk a full size basketball on that rim extremely easily. So if you are already at that point, 100% do the tennis ball routine. Now, if you're almost at that 10 foot range, maybe you're just like me and you're, you're hitting your, the, the, the tips of your finger, what you can do then is if you've got one of those driveway nets, put it down to nine feet and start smashing and dunking like crazy on that and do that a ton every other day and you're gonna be able to dunk on a real 10 foot rim extremely easily. Now, the next tip that I'm gonna give you is plyometrics. Now, if you've heard of these before, then you're all set, and I won't go in too much detail. However, what I've been doing in my live streams is a lot of plyometrics. And what these are is just body weight exercises. So, for example, a squat jump is a plyometric exercise. And if you can just type in on Google plyometric exercises, and if you do the, those exercises every other day, you're gonna be able to jump higher. Or if you could just search my channel for vertical jump training, you're going to be able to find a ton of exercises that will help you be able to dunk on that rim much more. Now my third tip that I'm gonna give you today is lat raises. So if you get some dumbbells, lats are essentially on top of your shoulder. And what these do is they, they are momentum muscles. If you are going in for a dunk on the rim, you're going to be exploding up and using those lats. Also, your lower back is huge. And these are muscles that a lot of trainers and a lot of players just don't train. And I'm telling you today, these are things that you can work on and will get you an extra couple of inches so that you can actually dunk a ball much easier. The lower back muscle as well as your core is going to give you stability if you get hit in the air. But using lat raises which is just getting dumbbells and lifting up to your shoulders and back down on the sides and then out in the front, that's going to allow you to be able to have that momentum and then you can get a dumbbell. You can get your feet shoulder width apart, slightly bent, have a dumbbell in each hand or just one in the middle and keep your shoulders back and just lift like that and that will work that lower back as well as your hips and this is going to allow you to jump higher to be able to dunk on that rim. Another exercise that you can do or another thing that you can do, this is the fourth tip, is your stabilizer muscles. So things like the rope training where you're you're doing the squat with the rope and you're holding yourself back with a rope. If I remember, I will put a clip of me doing that right now. Now, if I don't, I'm sorry, but you can kind of look that up. But anyways, another stabilizer muscle exercise is BOSU balls, B-O-S-U balls. I'm gonna be getting one of those very soon, maybe at the end of the summer. I don't have one right now, the one I had broke. And Basically, they allow you to work on your stabilizer muscles in your legs and your hips. 
But for some of the things that you can do without having to have special uh, equipment that you just have to go by is things like one-legged squats. If you can go down into a squat and back up and the lower you get, the better, that's going to help you work on your stabilizing muscles around your knee. Now my fifth hack that I'm gonna give you today is one I've just briefly mentioned, which is your core and your lower back. These are extremely important muscles for you to work on if you wanna become a stronger player, but also be able to dunk on that rim. Now I hope that these hacks help you be able to jump higher and dunk a basketball sooner. Anyways, I post videos twice a day. I'm starting to do a live stream every day at 1 p.m. Toronto time. So stay tuned for that and I will see you guys again tomorrow for another twice a day, technically three a day basketball videos.